The trees had given way to rocks and sand on the young Moomin's travels, but the landscape felt very strange because it was warmed by heat from the comet and not from the sun. They were all very tired, hot and rather depressed. They should have been near the sea by now. Where is it? asked the snork maiden, throwing a stone over the cliff to test if there was any water. They all stared. Well, strike me pink, said the snork. The sea has gone, completely disappeared. They must decide how to cross the great gap the sea had left. Any ideas, anybody? said Moomintroll. Flying, said Sniff. Don't be silly. Proposal rejected unanimously, said the snork. Then Snufkin said, I know, stilts. Stilts are perfect for walking over mud and cracks and stream. Hurrah for Snufkin, cried Moomintroll. Now all we have to do is to go on a stilt hunt. There were lots of sticks on the beach, so it was only a question of finding the right ones. Then there was the difficulty of learning to walk on them. Take long steps, like in seven league boots, Snufkin advised. Don't look down, or you'll lose your balance. Soon they were all strutting about, and the snork maiden especially was very pleased with herself. When they had practiced enough to feel confident, they set out to cross the seabed. It was very depressing. The fish floundered about pathetically. Oh, the poor things, thought the snork maiden. But Moomintroll told her they had to keep moving. They couldn't stop and save all the fish. They were moving between jagged black rocks and had to go very carefully when Moomintroll spotted the ship. How miserable she looked. Her sails and rigging had long ago been swept away by the storm. Wait a minute, said Sniff. I can see something gold, something shining. And Sniff, who could never resist anything that glittered, pulled a dagger with a golden hilt out of the sand. Oh, look at the beautiful jewels, gasped the snork maiden. And in her excitement, she completely lost her balance. Help! Moomin Troll at once dashed to her rescue. Sniff is an absolute pest. It's all his fault, running after anything that shines or glitters. But we might find some more treasures in here, said the snork maiden. It's too dark, said Moomin Troll, and there may be monsters about. The snork maiden took out her looking glass. Thank goodness it wasn't broken. But as she was titivating herself, she saw something awful reflected behind them. Something that moved. Look out! There's something there! Poor Moomin Troll. The snork maiden was desperate. And then she thought how to use her glass. She would direct the fierce light of the comet off her looking glass onto the monster. It was successful. Moomin Troll was rescued. You saved my life, you know, said Moomin Troll, and in such a clever way, too. I was very happy to do it, she said. I'd save your life every day if I could. Moomin Troll was touched, but said, I think we should get out of here. Night was drawing on, and they must find somewhere to sleep. They all felt very depressed and sad about the loss of the sea, but tried to comfort themselves with thoughts of home and Moomin Valley. Then they fell asleep. Mm -hmm.